So we're right here. We're still on the stage Torah code, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like they they don't know how to read the code. Now they try to say here Masonic Mas Masonic reggae. We just pointed to the Psalms, right? The Psalm of David, and we're still in the tire. You know what I'm saying? We're still in the tire and Ethiopia mystery, according to um, according to uh, Psalm um, according to Psalm. 87, right? Psalm 87. So what we're going to do is, is, is bring this up right here so you can see this more squarely. You understand? And so, so let's go right here to uh, Blue Letter Bible, right? One of our favorite online search, search engines right here, right? So let us, let us check on this, right? Let us check on this right here and let us deal with this. So let's bring this up because they're trying to say that John derived from Jabuan. You understand? They're trying to say that Ja derived from Jabuan. So we're going to call this Ja is not from Jabulan. And notice we're going point by point and we can see how these people are in a big era. You know what I'm saying? That's why all of them that talk about their lordy lordy and gaudy gaudy can recognize why what's going on because they don't love the truth. They don't have a love for the truth. You know what I'm saying? And they have a seed, right? A strong seed of the devil of racism in them against black people. You know what I'm saying? Against the black race. You know what I'm saying? Everything that's right and exactly blaspheme. You know what I'm saying? And here again we see a sign of their blasphemy right, on this particular page right here. So look, there's one time in the Bible, right? There's one time in the Bible, and you see it right there in front of you, right? Psalm 68, verse 4. Now let's go and look at this page right here from Torah Code 2012 by Midbar Nesher. Midbar Nesher needs to go back to school. You understand? Because you're showing that for all that Bible code, it makes me very... You know, questionable. I got to check. You got to check every fact. Now, what they're trying to say right here on this page, right, on this page, and this is what's confusing a lot of our brothers and sisters if they're not studying and showing themselves approved, right? This one's name is John Mason, right? We already touched on the Masons in the Bible and, 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 and Hiram and, and, and so Tyre, King of Tyre, how he, how he was subordinate to King David. We already see how the other Masons were subordinate to King Solomon. And we know that these modern Masons, up until the apostasy, were subordinate, you know, sent to Kedemawi Haile Selassie, until that careless, ungodly generation came along and did what Judas Iscariot or the Pharisees and Sanhedrin did, you know, sent when they crucified the Shuha Moshia. Now, here they have Masonic reggae, question mark. You see, because it's like the devil. What the devil does is suggest something, you know, or what you think. You think that's what it is? It seems like it's strange. I mean, I like some reggae music, rah, 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 and so forth and so on, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. If we can bring up, if we can bring up the Kibber and the Guest, Right? I think it's chapter 110. It says in the cover and the guest how Satan uh, and the devil don't really got no power. The only power he has is to sow a seed of thought. And this is what this page is doing right here. They're trying to say, you know, we just scanned over. We just, we just going to address the issue about, about Freemasonry and his majesty. Really, we thought that, okay, we do a quick vid on that. We get that out the way. You understand? But now as we get into this more and more, you understand, we're seeing the bigger and bigger conspiracy because now Rastafari children are beginning to put things together and catching them by surprise. You understand? And many of their own people are beginning to open up their eyes. You over but the liars are lying even more and more. Now they're trying to suggest that well 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 Ja, right? Well Ja is from Jabulan. That's what it's saying right here. On this page right here, it's Torah Code 2012 by Nidbar Nesher. You understand? They're trying to suggest that His Majesty was a free mason. You understand? Somehow He was under them when actually they were under Him. 
You know what I'm saying? They were under him like the Masons of Tyre. You know what I'm saying? Like the Masons of Tyre, you know what I'm saying, were under, you know what I'm saying, were under great King David. Now, if we were to open the next, a next window right here, you know what I'm saying, let's just open the next window right here and look at this. Some Vinyan people don't like so many windows open. I, over, I understand that, but um, let's just deal with this issue right here. Let's, let's deal with Tyre right here. Let's, we're going to have to deal with Tyre entirely. You understand? Tyre entirely. So, let's go down here. How many times is Tyre? Tyre up here is 36 times. Right? 36 times. You remember over here what we pointed out, and, and it should be very clear, you can look this up yourself, that Hiram, not Hiram a beast. You see, Hiram a beast is not biblical. So they make that up. Freemasonry makes that up. You know what I'm saying? Ethiopia is not making anything up. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we, we're not, we don't have to make it up. When you have that much truth, you don't have to make it up. You know what I'm saying? But they're making something up to hoodwink and bamboozle. And work. remember, it's, it's a spiritual warfare. It's a psychological, it's a psyops warfare. Yeah, and especially if you're lazy. You know what I'm saying? If you're lazy and you don't study and you don't think critically. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy for you to, you know, out of your fear, to believe their suggestions. You know what I'm saying? To believe their suggestions. In fact, let's, let's see if we can bring that up, too. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring that up, too, while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? The, um, what is it called? The Queen of Sheba? The Queen of Sheba and the only son, Men, ya, you know, Men, uh, Men, Yelek, right? And, um, right? And we're going to look up thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because remember what, the, what this one is saying on the other page. They're saying that, well, it has been suggested. Suggested by who? Notice they don't tell you, well, who it's been suggested by. You know they're not going into who it has been suggested by. Let me go to, go to the wiki. See if the wiki, see if that's open here. But it might not be open. It might be somebody selling a book. You know what I'm saying? So please be patient. It's coming in. It's coming in. All right. So now let's look in the book right here. Right, let's look in the book, right, for thought. Right, let's look for thought, right? And then let's look for where it's talking about how the devil, you understand, doesn't have any power, but the power that he has is to suggest a thought. You understand? And this is what they're doing by this page here, where they're trying to insult, you understand? They're, they're trying to insult, right? Um, they're really blaspheming, blaspheme. I mean, and, and they, they're actually blaspheming themselves. I mean, I mean, I mean, they're cursing themselves. They're blaspheming us, but they're cursing themselves right here, right? So, um, it, it, here's the page right here. Here's the page right here, right? Um, and this is from a chapter. This is from the chapter concerning the angels, right? This is the cover and the guest. We, well, we know from Ethiopia as the cover and the guest, but what is called um, the Queen of Sheba and her only son, Minulik. Because when we look at this page over here, and we just was making a, a brief point, and we scrolled down here, and we started to read it, and we saw what they were saying. And they're saying down here, right? They're saying that um, Masonic reggae, because they have uh, Ja Mason, Right? And we know that nothing's wrong with a mason in the biblical sense. That's just like nothing wrong with a cook, nothing wrong with a chef. You see, in Ethiopia, when they called the Beta Israel on uh, Ebibon because they were smiths in metals, right? They basically said they were dealing with sorcery, right? In, in Ethiopia, and the persecution against the Falasha or the Beta Israel, making them Falasha occurred because of that. Then when the enemy came in, right, the Ethiopians did not have enough weapons because the ones who were in that industry were the Beta Israel. The ones who were in that industry were the Beta Israel. So they had to ask for other Christians and then the Portuguese came in because before that some of the apostate church people had said that the uh, um, Beta Israel, the Fala well, before they were known as Falasha, they actually got that name Falasha after this time and after these incidences 
just prior to 1530 A.D. and Ahmed Gran, the Mohammedan Wars, and then later on the Jesuits, you understand, came in and sold a lot of seeds or a lot of weeds also in Ethiopia, fulfilling Christ's word and fulfilling that particular biblical prophecy. But they're saying right here that Rastafari, it has been suggested that Rastafari word for God, they're saying it's a Rastafari word for God, which is Jah, comes from the term Jabulun. Yes, they said it. They said it, my people. If you, if, you, if you go to the side, go to the side. You see this woman right here? You see how this woman right here has her hands over her head? It's like, oh, my God. I mean, tell I and I they didn't go there. You know what I'm saying? Tell us they didn't go here. And, and they have um, Psalm 146 and 9. Yahweh protects the foreigners amongst us. He cares for the orphans and widows, but he frustrates the plans of the wicked. Amen, amen. Psalm 1, 4, 6, right, point 9. And it was Psalm 146, right, Psalm 146 and, uh, and, and 9. But now, this, this is the main theme that we're on right here. Right? Not the sidebar. That was the sidebar, Raytheon. Let's, let's get to this point. So, the, the point of this is to prove that Jah is not from Jabalin, as it has been suggested, you understand, by certain deceived and deluded and perhaps even satanically motivated individuals who are trying to slander Rastafari. This is what we say to the Rastafari brethren and sisters in the community. We've got to wake up, rise, and shine. And give Jah the glory, glory. You understand that? His Majesty says that for my part, I glory in the Bible. This is why we got to study and show ourselves approved. Because when you don't, can you imagine when any of the children, you understand, see some garbage like this, and then another fool, because one fool makes many, right? Another fool is going to pick up and say, yes, Rastafari word for Jah comes from Jabulun. You know what I'm saying? Some of you might have already seen it, heard it. You understand? We thought, when we saw the whole thing about Jabalin, we already knew this is some European Peckerwood kind of crazy thing. In other words, it's a latter day, the latter day Satan. You understand? You know what I'm saying? Trying to curse, you understand? The, the saints, the holy ones, the Caduceus. You understand? John's people, Rastafari people. By dear, even associating Jabalin, you know what I'm saying, with Jah and with Rastafari. That is what they are doing right here. You understand? Go to this page and you'll see it. You understand? Torah Code 2012. You understand? Put Torah Code 2012, Rastafari, Jah, Jabulun. I'm sure it will, you know, the algorithm of Google will trifecta it and you'll find that particular page. And we suggest that if you're watching this video right now, you understand? Or listen to it, just go and, and search it out and get that information. Download it, back it up, print it out if you can, if necessary, but definitely back it up, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of these things lately is evidence. This is evidence. You know what I'm saying, this is, this is basically evidence and proof, because we can say, oh, we saw a page, so forth and so on, and then people say, I don't see that page out there, but you can show them this. So now they say that Jambalan, right, they now are suggesting, because of historic rituals of European Let's understand that European, Greco-Roman, European royal arch masonry. Yo, remember they learned these crafts from the Beta Israel, from the black Hebrews. We already see that when we look at the coat of arms. So that should be very, very clear to I and I. And, 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 and because they're not willing to admit the truth, they suppress this, right? They suppress this information, even though it's right out there. And we've seen countless examples, even in the, the notes in our video. You understand in the video about the Jamaican Rastafari belt and the Order of the Garter. You understand? And, and what they do with Edward. You understand? You know how they do that with Edward. They basically, we're going to show you later on how when you go there, you understand, you'll see that Edward, King Edward III, who founded the Order of the Garter, how he was a black man. You understand? Know he was a black king. He was part of this black nobility. You understand? Know but right here, let's first of all just prove one point at a time. You understand? Know if we can. Sometimes 
you know, proving one point actually proves a, a lot of different points and open up, opens up other areas of, 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 of reasoning, you know what I'm saying, other halves of the truth that start to come together in a full picture. So they're saying that right here, here's the key word, suggested. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil, what he does, he, he suggests. You understand? Know he doesn't bring any evidence. We're bringing evidence, and people are trying to fight us down on suggestion. And we say, where's your evidence? And they'll tell us, well, that's what they want to believe. So they, they don't have a love of the truth. Now when we go right here, in this page right here, this is from the Kibra Nagas, the Queen of Sheba, and only son of Inulik, right? And it says right here, and the merciful one, the lover of mercy answered them on behalf of Adam, the, the, the rebellious angel. This is in a section, a chapter on, on how the angels rebelled, right? How the angels, where well, we get the whole fallen angels, you know, the whole Enochian. How can we say the whole Enochian part of this particular, and this chapter, actually 100, right? Concerning the angels who rebelled. You know what I'm saying? This is concerning the angels who rebelled. Now, I don't know if, I don't know if this can, uh, I don't know if this can uh, go more uh, full screen. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. It, will this go more full screen right here? Yeah, so let's zoom this in so you can see this very clear. You know what I'm saying? So you can see this very clear right here. So this is concerning the angels who rebelled. It's a rather long, not that long, but rather long chapter. We're not going to go through all of that, but we, we, we'll make one main point right here about the, the wiles, right? The wiles of the devil. You understand? The wiles of the devil, right? And, and, and they're slander by suggestion. You understand? Suggestion, right? So when we go down here, it says that the, the merciful one, the love of mercy, answered them on behalf of Adam. Answered them on behalf of the black man, the original Adam. You understand? From that red clay, just like the red Egyptian. I mean, you see it all right there. And said to the reddish brown, in other words, and said to them, You have I created out of fire and ear with one intent, that you should praise me. So these angels who were rebelling, they only had one intent. You understand? And then one intent was to praise the sustainer, the true and living God, to praise Yahweh, he who be, who he be, his divine majesty. Him have I created of twice as many elements as you, of dust and water and of wind and fire. And he became a being of flesh and blood. And in him are ten thoughts. You see this right here? Are ten thoughts. Right? Remember the five wise and the five foolish virgins? There's a link right there. Or, it goes here, it goes on the next page. Or intentions. Five good, right? Five good and five bad. Right? And it says right here, it says, if his heart, right? If his heart. Over here, yeah. if his heart enticeth him to good, he walketh with good intent. And if Diablos, the liar, the slanderer, the diabolic, the one that tries to throw these false suggestions across your head and your heart to confuse you, seduceth him, that's a seduction, he walketh with him on an evil path because he has gone out of the way, the truth, and the life. He has turned to the left or the right, right? As for you, ye have no other object in your mind. This is, this is Yahweh. This is the sustainer. This is Hashem Baruch Hu speaking to the rebellious angels, right? They only have one object. They have no other object in their minds but praise of Him, right? With the exception that, that what? Arrogant one. Who produced evil. So in a lot of the slander you find against his majesty, you see the same sort of arrogancy and denial of the truth and the facts, right? Produced evil and became an evil being and was what? Driven away from your assembly. You understand? He was excommunicated, driven away. You understand? Like those who were driven out of Africa, we can say Afro-Asia, right? And now, why do you magnify yourselves over Adam? In other words, why do they magnify themselves over the African, over the black man, over the black beta Israel? 
if ye were as he is, and I have created you of water and dust, ye would have been flesh and blood, and ye would have transgressed my commandment more than he had done and denied my word. This is exactly what we're seeing now. You understand? Know in these beings, you understand? Know or rather, in the people, the men and people who have been deceived by these fallen angels, these demonic entities. Right? Now, it goes on to say, right, and the angel said to him, they said to Hashem, Baruch Hu, they said to him, we will not transgress thy commandments, and we will not oppose thy word. You understand? Remember the rhema word, the word is the logos, our black Lord and Savior, Shua HaMoshiach. They said, we will not do that, right? For we are spiritual beings for life. When they talk about, oh, we're spiritual, we're spiritual, right? And he is a creature of dust, doomed to folly. These are these folks that talk about, oh, yeah, it's like we trapped. You understand that being a human being and being on the earth is being trapped and stuff. You know, so, so you, you, you can see it and recognize it, right? If you have a love of the truth, you understand? The truth will reveal itself. But are you ready for the truth? And now try us well. And put us to the test, so that thou mayest know whether we are able to keep thy word. This is what we're seeing now, in this present 